learn how to fly this before you learn how to fly this. All right, guys, welcome to my video. This is gonna be kind of a beginner's type of RC plane video. So if you're thinking about getting into flying RC airplanes, I've been flying since I was a kid. So I'm very used to flying things that are made out of um, some, something like Monaco sticks and, and balsa basically. So um, if you crash this one, it's <laughs> a lot to fix. And I hope you have some epoxy, but this little guy, is something you can take out on a morning like today where it's crystal clear, there's very low wind, we have under a 10 mile an hour wind right now, it might even be something like five. And that's really what you want for this little plane, but uh, the Voluntex Sport Cub is interesting because it does have a gyro built into it for stabilization. So it's gonna keep you level in beginner mode. And then you have something also called mid mode, which is gonna give you a little more roll and pitch but it's not going to let you go completely over into a barrel roll you can go into expert mode and then you can do your full-fledged rolls flips and all that good stuff fly it upside down and we'll see how much it's actually capable of doing but um, for starters we're going to start out in beginner mode we're going to take off in beginner mode that's full stabilization and i'm going to show you how it flies out here in the field it also has another mode which is kind of cool called aerobatics mode and i've seen this on a lot of toy quads but never really on rc airplanes that much when you press that button in beginner mode it's going to do like an automatic flip or barrel roll so uh, we'll see how this little plane performs for around $60. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. For your first flight, if you can fly it in a nice open field like this with no trees around, or maybe even in a gymnasium for the winter, it's probably gonna be the best place to fly this type of plane. But really be choosy about your weather and you'll have a much better experience. We're also going to start off today taking off into the wind so we get a little more lift in the wings. It's usually not a good idea to take off with a tailwind so just one tip for the beginners and one other thing i'd like about this plane is that not only does it look cool it has a lot of scale details on here a lot like the horizon hobby planes but about 40 dollars cheaper because those are usually in coming in around 100 dollars it has a little breakaway prop as well so it has a prop saver system on here and it is a brushed motor inside with a gear system in here super light landing gear and I love the strut support on the bottom. That's also really cool. So let's go ahead and uh, plug in the 1S360 milliamp battery and we'll see how long the flight time is. All right guys, we're gonna do a surface check real quick. First, you wanna check out your rudder, left, right. Everything moves in conjunction, left and right. And we're gonna check out the ailerons next. If you push left on the right stick, it should come up on the left side. If you push right, it should come up on the right side, just like that. And for your elevator, down you should see it go up and push forward on the right stick and it should go down so it looks like we're all good i'm gonna do a throttle check i've got throttled to activate your motor and your throttle you need to push the stick all the way up you'll hear it beep and then push it all the way down and that will arm your motor and you're ready for takeoff all right so here we go i'm gonna go just about full throttle into the wind and i am in beginner mode right now so i have stabilization Gonna come back around. It's actually faster than I thought. That's cool. Try never to fly into the sun. You just go completely blind. You wanna fly with your back to the sun usually. It's actually a pretty fast little plane. I'm gonna get some altitude up there. We'll get up not too high that you can't see it, but I'm gonna try out the rudder. Rudder looks good. Nice and stable. So I'm gonna cut the motor completely. See what kind of glide we get out of it gonna do a little low pass here over my runway nice really nice I can feel the breeze coming up just a little bit and really if you're starting out flying an RC airplane if you learn to fly with rudder so the rudder is gonna move the same direction when you're making your turns as your right stick your rudder is gonna be on the left stick so if you move them both just slightly in your turns, it'll keep that nose of the plane level. That's what's really nice about having rudder on an airplane. You can make nice, smooth, level turns with rudder. Really suggest learning how to fly rudder. Also put a little bit of down elevator in your turn. So push slightly down in your turns and that'll keep it level as well. Sometimes if you, you turn without any elevator sometimes the nose will dip 
That's just a characteristic of airplanes. But I wonder how long this little 360 milliamp battery is going to last, you guys. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit lower here. And we're going to switch into the mid mode. So now it's going to give me a little more authority in my surface on my ailerons and on the tail so it's it's moving around a little quicker now it's turning a little faster but it's not going to let me roll see that i'm going to give it full stick left and right with the right stick full aileron and no rolls now let's get up a little bit higher again go back into beginner mode and there goes the seagull everything leveled out got really easy again to fly so we're going to get it way up high nose into the wind and we're going to hit that might be a little bit too high bring it back down so you guys can see it we're gonna hit that aerobatics button see what happens and generally if i'm gonna do a, a loop with an rc airplane i usually put it nose into the wind so that i get a good amount of lift so i'm gonna bring it up to about 20 feet hit that button oh wow did a barrel roll nice really cool let's let's uh bring it back over our head again and Hit that button again, another barrel roll. You gotta be careful with barrel rolls because you can roll into the ground. There goes a big loop. Wow, so you don't know quite what you're gonna get. I guess if you're pushing the right stick to the right or left, it's gonna give you a barrel roll. If you're pushing back on the right stick, like elevator, it's gonna give you a loop. That's pretty cool. So to get a loop, you're gonna pull back on that right stick and press that aerobatics button gonna give you a big loop that's cool and that's what you would do generally to get into a loop anyway so let's go ahead now and let's bring it back a little bit closer let's try out expert mode look at that much more agile now and this is something you want to get into after you've learned how to fly all the other modes and man it's really I'm at half throttle now right right now by the way so I'm gonna try an expert loop let's come back around get nose into the wind like I like to do and up and give it a little more throttle nice kind of a low loop and I'm trying to keep it close for you guys generally I would do that a little higher the higher up you are the better because you can loop back into the ground and that's never good full throttle all the way around big loop nice still in expert mode this little plane is uh, quite agile it's fun now if you get a little bit disoriented you can always flip your switch and go back into stabilized mode so if you get a little bit nervous in expert mode, it's kind of like a bailout switch for you. So you can just come back. I'm going to get in expert mode again. Say I was upside down. Let's see if it writes itself. Yep, flew right back around to level. That is cool. Now it doesn't have any return to home or anything like that, but this is just the basics. Going to learn the basics with this. So let's try a little touch and go. I'm going to come back around. And to do my touch and goes, I always come in nose to the wind. So I have a good amount of lift. I'm going to fly way down. And we're going to do our little uh, touch and go here. Here we go. Let's, let's get off the throttle a little bit. And come down. Nice. Not my best touch and go in the history books, but I'm going to try one up close so you guys can see it. Give it a little elevator back. Nice, just quick touch and go. And the Cub guys will really show off with their Cubs. They'll do one wheel touchdowns, touch and goes, and all kinds of cool stuff. Let's do one right here. Oh, almost hit the other plane. It is really is super, super lightweight. That's the cool thing about this plane. I, I think indoors, you'd be flying this thing at about quarter throttle, like in a gymnasium. But this, this space right here is about the size of a nice uh, size gymnasium. Just this little parking area right here. Man, I'm still going on the battery. This is awesome. So I think they have a good release. You know, I, I'm, I'm always a big fan of Vontex RC stuff. And they're kind of like the, uh, the Chinese version of Horizon Hobby. I mean, most of the Horizon Hobby stuff is made in China anyway. So uh, I'm in nowhere to factories are been friends with those guys for a long time but it's always cool to have a cheaper alternative but a just as good alternative in my opinion super durable 
EPO style foam. Nice scale looks. I love the red and white combo. It's that classic sport cub look. It's not the long wing version. It's sort of the clipped wing cub. And the cub happens to be one of my favorite planes of all time. I love this little guy. So I think we're gonna get like a little over 10 minutes flight time out of a 1S 360 milliamp battery, which is actually really good. So ultimate trainer, ultimate trainer. And the wheels are just big enough to land on smooth concrete. And this is kind of old concrete in front of me right here. Let's see if we can taxi it around. Nice landing. Now it's beeping on me, so that means that the battery is done. I just kind of nosed over. The wind blew it over, so real light wind does affect it. That's super cool. So I would say um, it's worth the money for the experience because I just love Cubs. I really do. But mostly it flies good. It flies nice straight lines and the beginner mode is just really excellent for new guys with all that stabilization. You can hear those gyros acting right now. I'm in beginner mode. It's actually quite a lot of fun just to fly it in stabilized mode like that. That is really cool. I love it. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Justin Davis. Take care everybody. Happy flying. Keep it up in the air and you're good. On the ground, not good. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.